hey welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to talk about how to make rosemary water and then um, now most people ask questions like does rosemary water actually help your hair to grow and the answer is yes because rosemary water or rosemary contains what is called the carnosic acid and it carries an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant property that helps to rejuvenate damage nerves and tissues in your body so that helps to rejuvenate your scalp and in the long run helps to grow your hair now it also helps to control dandruff in the hair and as well as helping to deal with premature graying of the hair but how do you even get this to work properly it may not be working for you because you are not doing it properly so how do you do it you have to focus on your scalp that is and make sure you apply the water on your scalp like apply it and massage it down and also you have to give it some time to work don't be jumping from one hair treatment to another so give it some time to work and also avoid some other products like frag um fragrance products and all that so be patient give it time to work and apply it properly so the second the second um ingredient for today's video is cloves cloves actually contains a property called eugenol which promotes hair growth when applied to the scalp. These compounds contain antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties that can be beneficial for your scalp. So you have to apply it and also make sure that you massage it. So both of these items are being applied the same way. So you are going to apply the water in the end of this video. You apply it on your scalp and make sure to massage it so that it will sit in and take the desired effect now for some people they do complain that cloves water make their hair dry yeah it can happen for most people but what you can do is to reduce the quantity of cloves or for a better to be on the safe side at the end of the um after applying and washing off the the regimen or the hair treatment or the water you can get hair oil and apply on your hair depending on what you like it could be olive oil it could be any other hair oil of your choice but make sure you apply it on your hair so that it will keep your hair moisturized and hydrated and also help to prevent drying after use but cloves and rosemary they work like magic so now guys what we're going to do is to take the desired measurements now i don't have any specific measurement but it all depends on the quantity you want to do or you want to um, produce for yourself so depending on how long you intend to use it but maximum you can create something you can use for two weeks it doesn't water doesn't go bad so i will take one spoon of that each but mind you the more the cloves the, no, the more the quantity of cloves you have the more or the faster it will it will dry your hair after washing off or after applying so but remember to solve that you have to apply hair oil so you apply um you measure the quantity based on your choice or your need then the next thing you want to do is to pour it into a cleanser. I always emphasize the need to use cleansers because um, dirty jars can actually contaminate our hair treatment regimen because it's going to affect the potency, it's going to affect the strength, it's going to affect the efficiency, and that can actually make it not to work or give you the desired results within the expected time. You understand so what you need to do is to make sure that you use clean product and um, clean basins or clean plates clean bowls clean containers so what you can do is to make sure you 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 sanitize them maybe using warm water and just some salt so at the end of the day you want to cover this hair treatment after adding some water clean water after adding some water depending on the the size you quantity you want to create then close it and leave it to sit in for at least 24 hours maximum 48 hours so that all the ingredients will release their properties into the water so after 24 hours the next thing you want to do is to sieve the particles of the cloves and the particles of the rosemary leaf from the water so that you can just be left with just the water and you can now apply it so we are going to sieve it together and then make sure that it is ready for use so stay with me don't go yet but while we are doing that please don't forget to like this video please like this video help me to grow this channel by liking this video subscribing to my channel and 
don't forget to also enable notification so that the notification bell so that you won't miss my videos when i post them because i, I keep posting videos different hair treatment videos so that you keep looking beautiful so don't forget to do that and then don't forget to like the video so after you must have sieved the particles of the cloves and the particles of the rosemary leaf from the water the next thing you want to do is to get an applicator bottle um for some people they, they if you don't have an applicator bottle you can you make use of maybe your hand like scoop the water with your hand and apply it but an applicator bottle makes it more efficient because because of the pressure with which it comes out with it goes into your hair it can go straight down to your scalp and it also helps to avoid waste so use an applicator bottle if possible if you don't have one you can just improvise maybe look for something um something that you can use to improvise but make sure you use an applicator bottle so that you avoid unnecessary waste and also you can also use it for storage so the best thing to do is to apply this in the morning or before you sleep and let it sit in for one hour then wash off and don't forget to apply hair oil so that your hair won't be dry you understand so thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.